right, how's it going guys? Today we are back with another car information video. And today we're gonna to be talking about, is it worth it to rebuild your WRX engine? Whether that's the EJ205 or any other generation of Subaru engine, because it's gonna be a very, very similar concept, whether it's a STI engine, you know, older WRX engine or whatever. And obviously I'm in a really weird film spot right now. I'm actually back for the holidays at my girlfriend's parents' house. This is an old high school bedroom. And with that being said, I'd like to say Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, whatever you guys celebrate. Make sure you're spending some time with the family and just enjoying your time. It's, a, it's supposed to be unstressful, stress relief time. And I'm really hoping you guys have a great break if you do have a break. But anyways, let's get back to the topic of this video. Today we're gonna to be talking about, is it worth it to rebuild or replace or whatever your WRX engine or STI. So to start this video off, let's talk about pricing because that is a very, very major factor in terms of whether you're gonna be replacing or rebuilding or whatever you're gonna be doing, just fixing the minor thing into your engine. And obviously a big factor is the price. So if you guys weren't aware, I actually made a video talking about, well, breaking down the cost that I spent replacing my EJ205 engine into my 2004 WRX. Uh, you can find it on my channel. I kind of break down all the components, kind of go more in depth than what you can expect when you're replacing your engine on an EJ205. And so for that cost, it was around $2,500 US. And that includes all the bolts, the gaskets, and so many extra components, and the clutch. So that's gonna cross around $2,500 US and around $3,200 Canadian. And if we're talking about like the EJ255 and stuff, you can kind of assume it's gonna be around the same price, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. You know, you can probably do plus or minus $500. It's gonna be very, very similar pricing. It kind of just depends on your area. I know when I was buying my engine, or and, and also non-ABS versus ABCS, I mean, um, it, there's so many other factors in it, but if you're gonna be talking about the EJ255 or 257 or wherever, um, um, it's gonna be very similar. You can kind of assume that those ones are gonna be a bit more expensive, you know, they're newer engines. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna be basing this on an EJ205, but just so you know, it's gonna be very similar pricing, and you know, it might be cheaper, it might be a bit more. It's gonna be around the same. The cool thing about Subarus, which is a really awesome thing about them, which is makes them so fun to build or work on, is the fact that they're really like Legos. In the sense that, you know, Subaru parts are very, very compatible throughout the whole lineup. You can take parts from a 2015 STI and, and fix them to your 2004 STI, or I guess, same engine, but you know what I mean. You can take from 2015 STI and fit it onto a 2004 WRX, you know. Subarus are really awesome like that, and, and it makes it really fun to work on because it really is kind of like Legos with them. And just say you have an issue with your engine, whether it blows up or you have ringland failure or you have timing belt, premature timing belt failure or head gasket failure, what do you do? A big part of that to me is whether you are able to do the labor yourself. If you're able to do the labor yourself, that cuts down on your costs by thousands of dollars. But if not, it's still okay. We can find out a solution. So to replace your engine, what would I recommend if you're replacing your engine? So for me, I personally didn't want to go through the stress of replacing that rebuilding your engine because it can lead to more headaches. When I replaced my engine with a JDM EJ205, it was a lot less headaches. You know, you basically just go pick up the EJ205 from a, your JD, your local JDM importer. Um, you swap around some gaskets or, and you swap around the intake manifold and stuff and you basically just plug it back in and it's good to go. But when you're rebuilding your engine, you know, there's lots of extra costs with that and it can really vary because, you know, do you want to get the high-end internals? Do you want to, it can really, really vary just as a replacing engine does too. So if you weren't to want to rebuild your engine, you know, we're talking anywhere between $2,500 US and $5,000 US. Whereas replacing your engine with a JDM engine, you're talking about $2,500 US to around $3,500 US. So replacing your engine is definitely for the most part gonna be cheaper if you're gonna run into those issues. However, I will say there's no promises that that engine that you have is gonna last, you know, 100,000 kilometers, 100, you know, 60,000 miles. There's no promises. Whereas if you're gonna rebuild your engine with the finest, you know, internals, forged internals and do all that extra stuff, you know, it, it's probably more likely it's gonna last long because it has all those bulletproof extra measures kind of in your build process. And obviously a big factor and whether you should you know, replace or rebuild your engine or maybe you should just scrap it all together is what is the condition of your body like? So if you have a, you know, a 2003 WRX that's completely rusted out, you know, the body's kind of crap, um, 
your engine blows up, it has 300,000 miles on the car, I would say, you know what, is it really worth, you know, replacing the engine in it if it's just gonna be a crap car? Um, whereas maybe you have a 2007 Hawkeye WRX that has a really good condition body and your engine blows. And that's kind of the different uh, scenario where, you know, it's probably worth replacing the engine. And one thing I will say in terms of value and money is when I replaced my WRX, I spent around $3,000, uh, like I said before. Um, I actually purchased the WRX for around $5,000. Um, obviously I obviously knew it wasn't a great condition WRX, but I wasn't expecting it to blow up right away. Uh, but I spent I spent around five thousand dollars for it. You know that's on the cheaper end, so you know you get what you pay for. But I put around three thousand dollars into the car, so that leaves me at around eight thousand dollars, and I actually sold it for around eight thousand dollars. So keep that in mind. So just say you blow up your engine, you don't know what to do. Um, you know it might not be a bad idea to actually replace your engine or rebuild it, and then you can actually save. Uh, you can actually sell it and get all your money back, including the price of the body of the car. Um, which is also another interesting to, uh, which is also another interesting thing to say is the actual bodies and drivetrain of the WRX or STI actually have quite a bit of value. So when I actually blew up my car, you know, I was going through all my options, you know, making sure I'm, I'm doing the right thing, replacing my engine, and I actually found that you can actually sell just the body of like you know a a blow by WRX for around you know two thousand dollars which isn't bad. And obviously all, all these pricing kind of depends on where you live. I live in Alberta, Canada. Uh, we get a lot of imports from Vancouver or BC uh, and they bring them into Alberta. So it, and the, a lot of these prices vary depending on where you live, but you know, it's probably gonna be around the same price. And so obviously when we're talking about issues, if, you're, if you need to replace or rebuild your engine, obviously something happened. Um, this is where this is where it gets super complicated because just say you have ringland failure and obviously, and you wanna go down the route of rebuilding your engine. Um, and then you, you rebuild the rings, you do all the internals, and then it's kind of like, where do you stop? Where do you want to stop? And that's where it gets kind of tricky because you just want to keep replacing so many extra parts of your engine that that's when it goes up to the $5,000 range when it could have been two or $3,000. Whereas replacing your engine, um, you can obviously do extra measurements such as replacing your head gasket and all the other gaskets and do all that other stuff, but it's more of a simple process. But again, you're not guaranteed that that engine that you're buying is going to be gold compared to the your previous engine. And so, okay, and so I'll try to kind of break down some scenarios and I'll put my input on what I would do. So just say you have a head gasket failure and your car has, you know, 150,000 miles on it and your body's in decent condition, I would recommend just replacing your head gasket and doing little extra uh, things, maybe oil catch can, do little extra things after that, but I wouldn't recommend you having to replace your whole engine or rebuild it. However, if your car has 300,000 kilometers on it, or 300,000 miles, and you blow your head gasket and your body's in decent condition, at that point, I would say maybe it is worth rebuilding your engine or replacing it because then you're getting a lot of your value back and, you know, it retains the value better and you're left with a better, you know, engine. You you know, when you rebuild your engine, you replace the engine, you're almost left with like a brand new WRX, which is a really cool feeling. So honestly, a lot of this just has to do with price. You know, if you have it in your budget where you can rebuild your engine, you know, do all the internals, I would say go with rebuilding your engine. If you don't have it, if that's not a part of your budget, and but you do have some budget, I would say replace your engine. If you have a blown head gasket and you have, your car doesn't have super, super high mileage, I would say just replace your head gasket and then when other things happen, do that too. If some of your internals blow up, just say you got ringland failure and your car has higher mileage, I would say replace your engine, but if you have the extra budget, I would say rebuild your engine, you know, do force internals. There's so many, this video is kind of complicated because it's so circumstantial. If you have the budget, you have more stuff to do, obviously. But to end off this video, I, I definitely think it's worth it to, to put in money into your WRX because just how well they retain their value is that you're not going to be losing, you know, all your investment, you know. For me, I actually gained back all my money. Whereas if I blew up my engine and just sold my car for scrap metal, I would have been down like three to four thousand dollars. So it honestly is worth it because the WRX, you know, say what you want about it, but at least they hold their value really well and there's always, always a very high demand for them because there's just such a sought after, really cool, tunable car that so many people are in love with and there's just such an awesome platform. So sorry if this video is a bit confusing. <laughs> um, I just kind of wanted to ramble about it because I think this is kind of an interesting topic. If you have any comments, make sure to leave them down below. And stay tuned for a puppy vlog because I actually just got a brand new puppy. I'll put him on the screen right now. And 
So we're very excited about him and I'm actually thinking about putting one or two puppy vlogs on this channel. We actually made a, a vlogging channel which will be linked down below if you guys, if you guys want to check that out. I'm guessing you guys probably don't which is fine. But it's there. But if I was confusing at all and you have any further questions, comment down below. I'll reply. Thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate all the support recently. Have a great, happy, happy holidays, Hanukkah. Uh, what's some other ones? Kwanzaa? Does anybody does anybody uh, celebrate Kwanzaa? Is that even Kwanzaa? Is that even the right thing? Hopefully I'm not being insensitive. Anyways guys, I appreciate all the support. I'll catch you guys next time. Merry Christmas.